The Zimbabwe Catholic Bishops' Conference, the ZCBC, has added to the chorus of condemnation on Zimbabwe's just-ended election, which saw incumbent President Emerson Mnangagwa declared winner with a 52.6% vote. In a pastoral statement this Thursday, the ZCBC CCJPZ Chairman, Right Reverend Bishop Rudolf Nyanduru, also called for an audit of the August 23 election, saying, this is one of the ways that could restore public confidence in the country's poor process. The Roman Catholic clergy cited the myriad irregularities that marred the period leading up to the Zimbabwe vote and the subsequent chaos that characterized balloting as some of the factors that brought the poor into disrepute. They listed inordinate balloting delays in some places across the country, inadequate lighting facilities in some polling stations, and the disenfranchisement of some voters who failed to find their names on the voters' roll. ZCBC said in some areas in the country, there were groups of individuals who mounted so-called exit poll survey desks near the polling stations while displaying logos of a political party. This was in apparent reference to Forever Associates of Zimbabwe, the infamous Zanupiev affiliated group that was presently granted a handle in the running of the country's poll outside the constitution. In some instances, ZCCBC said there were displays of campaign material on the road leading to polling stations and distribution of campaign regalias to voters within polling stations. The cleric said in some communities it was noted that there was distribution of material discouraging people to go and vote, added Mr. Nyandoro. In reflection on the above-mentioned challenges at ZPCC, we encourage ZEC to give an account to the nation about the delays and procurement of voting material and the missing names on the voters' roll. The opening of the polling centers during the night may surely bring to question the preparedness of ZEC for the just-ended election. An audit of the whole exercise may give relief to the electorate to whom ZEC is answerable. This may help the nation to be satisfied by our electoral process. The bishops urged parties aggrieved by the presidential poll results to follow legal channels to register their misgivings. They also called on spokespersons of political parties to refrain from issuing implementary statements in response to concerns raised by opponents and observer groups. As ZCBC, we totally discourage hate speech by some members of political parties. Actions that restrain and disrupt other political parties gathering violate the right to association is enshrined in Section 58 of the Constitution of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Amendment No. 20 of 2013. Let us shun barbaric actions that are contrary to the Christian ethos and national values as stated in the preamble of our national constitution. Violent actions paint a negative picture of the whole election process. We call for respect to our international mission observers and let their objective assessment of the elections help us as a nation to correct ourselves and move on. Their input should enrich us and act as the light of Christ showing the nation where corrections are needed. We therefore advocate for peace and condemn all forms of actions that may disrupt the post-election peaceful environment. The ZCBC continuously calls for peace and tolerance during this post-election period for a continued growth of our beloved nation. Of course, this was in reference to the Christopher Muchangwa response that he issued and attacked Sadiq leadership as led by Nevas Mumba. So, what Mr. Yanduro is saying that that was a foolish of Mr. Muchanga to issue those statements in direct attack to Mr. Nevers, member of the SADAC Electoral Observer Mission.